Well, comedy, as you well know, helps us cope with life's toughest situations. And there's an upcoming fundraiser that hopes to be both a night of levity for those with cystic fibrosis, while also raising money to help find a cure. Amy Pathrafts joins us to tell us more. Good morning. Are you going to make us laugh this morning for a good cause? <laughs> Maybe. I hope so. Maybe not me, but the comedians in the piece. Good morning, Giselle. Good morning, love. Cystic fibrosis is a rare but progressive disease affecting about 40,000 people in the U.S. Patients are diagnosed via a skin test to determine the salinity of their skin. It's that fact and her love of edgy comedy that inspires comedian Rochelle Meese to keep finding the funny with the Get, Cal Get Salty comedy show. Laughter brings healing. Funny gal Rochelle Meese has been trying to find the funny in a lot of life's precarious situations, dating, fertility, and now cystic fibrosis. She's been co-chairing the Get Salty comedy show for the last six years. This is such a heavy topic. There's a lot of sadness and, you know, medicine and strife, but then we have something fun where we can all come together and laugh. When she's not on stage telling jokes, the Arizona native is likely doing something for the CF Foundation. Today, she's sitting down with Senior Development Director Natalie Canuni at the Hollywood Improv to finalize details for this year's show. The first live event since going virtual in 2020 for COVID, a feature they'll keep as it benefits patients. If you have CF, you can't be within six feet of another person with CF, so this makes it more accessible for people with cystic fibrosis. Rochelle's younger sister, Lauren, has the disease, which affects the lungs, kidneys, and digestive system. She wasn't expected to live past high school, but because of huge advancements in research, thanks to fundraisers like this, Rochelle has seen her sister surpass expectations. I got to see her become a doctor a couple years ago, see her dreams come true. She's such a fighter, and I will not stop fighting for her. Lauren will be tuning into the live stream safely from her home in Boston, where she's doing her fellowship at Johns Hopkins. She'll watch her sister bravely take the stage and bear her soul on personal topics like freezing her eggs. Rochelle says stand-up and the CF community have a lot in common. They are living their life to the max. They are enjoying every moment. They know that tomorrow is not promised. And I do think comedy is like that, too. You're living your dreams, you know, doing things that scare you and enjoying life. Rochelle is definitely enjoying her life. She says she's found some of her best friends through Tomorrow's Leaders, a group of young professionals dedicated to finding a cure for CF. They'll all soon be seated in this room supporting her. Doing all this for her sister keeps her grounded. It's my one way I can control a situation that feels very out of my control um, by donating time and money and energy towards finding a cure. A memorable evening at the Improv complete with salty jokes may just be the dose of laughter we all need. The Get Salty Comedy Show is happening at the Hollywood Improv on October 9th at 7 p.m. You can come in person, or if you can't make it or want to share it with a loved one who maybe just doesn't live in SoCal, they can purchase a virtual ticket for just $25. Head to GetSaltyComedy.com to learn more. Oh, it sounds great, laughing for a good cause. So Rochelle's on the lineup. Who else is going to perform that night? That's right. She has a co-producer <laughs> in Evan Williams. He'll do a set. He's also flying in his bestie from New York, Mateo Lane. He's coming in just for the show. He's huge on TikTok. Plus Rory Scovel, Adam Ray, Megan Daly, and some surprise celebrity drop-ins. You never know who's going to show up. This is a great <laughs> event, making a huge impact on the lives of those living with CF. Fundraisers like this help raise critical funds. The life expectancy for someone with CF is now 50 when it was elementary age not that long ago. Amazing the advancements, right? Well, it beats a gala chicken dinner, right? I love it. Thanks, <laughs> Amy, for always bringing us something good. We'll see you soon. Bye.